Hello students, welcome back to Rajagopal Thangavel's forum. In this session, we will discuss one more development of a cylinder. In the last problem itself, we discussed one interesting practical problem in the cylinder as a vertical rooftop chimney. If you want to check that video, check the description box for a link. What is the difference in this uh, cylinder development is here there is no section plane condition. They said one semicircle is inscribed in the rectangle. We have to draw the projection of the cylinder showing the semicircle. First, you have to develop the uh, cylinder, which means you have to develop the surface of a cylinder. Then only you can able to complete the projection of the cylinder. Okay, read the question. Draw the development of a cylinder is a rectangle of size 110 mm by 55 mm. Draw the development of a cylinder is a rectangle of size 110 mm by 55 mm. Instead of cylinder diameter and height, they said development which means stretch out length has been given. Okay, stretch out line of length and as well as height is given in this question. A semicircle of 55 mm radius is inscribed in the rectangle where is the rectangle the rectangle size is 110 by 55 inside this rectangle we are going to draw a yeah, one semicircle draw the projection of the cylinder showing the semicircle on them after completing the development with this rectangle size as well as keeping the semicircle inside the rectangle we have to project the cylinder which showing the semicircle okay friends it's an interesting problem and now we are having one more uh, tackle we have to uh, identify what is the diameter of circle in the cylinder base here they never said what is the diameter of the cylinder or cylinder height data weight is not given in our question we have to apply our mind or we have to think twice to identify what is the clue in this question to identify cylinder height as well as the base diameter. Okay, base circle diameter. So, read the first sentence. Rectangle of size 110 by 55. What is the meaning of this? This is the development surface. Development surface 110 is the stretch out length. 110 is the stretch out length 55 is the height of rectangle so we can assume we can easily identify the 55 is the height of cylinder okay that is the same height you are going to draw for development what about stretch out length in normal how will you find out a stretch out length for the development of a cylinder so formula for stretch out length of cylinder is pi d circumference by d here stretch out length of the cylinder is given okay stretch out length of the cylinder is given we have to identify diameter of cylinder so stretch out length is equal to pi d if i need diameter stretch out length 110 by pi 3.14 so once again i repeat friends how we concluded this formula is circumference is the stretch out length as pi d when it is a basic problem with section plane condition is given we may used for the stretch out length calculation is equal to pi into diameter now we need diameter of cylinder stretch out length given it as 110 mm so 110 divided by pi so diameter of the cylinder is 35 mm with this we can draw a circle with a diameter of 35 mm and we can easily complete the top view okay so diameter is 35 mm and divide this circle into eight divisions and give a notation as per your convenience being a cylinder one uh, circle at the top face another one at the base extend all the uh, respective divisions complete your front view it is again like a hexagonal prism where insect moved from one base corner to the top face corner which is opposite top face corner diametrically 
there is no removed and remaining portion of the solid. If you wish to see that hexagonal prism insect problem, check the description box again for a link. And here there is no removed and remaining portion. We can convert everything by means of thick line. Always remember it is a cylinder. Only the boundary surface will be visible. This inner divisions for our convenience we are uh, divided into eight parts. Okay. How we can complete the development now? So you know that how to draw the development of the uh, cylinder. The total length is 110. What about height? It is 55. So this is the rectangle of 110 size, 110 length and 55. Okay, 110 and 55 is fine. How we are going to divide into 8 divisions, 8 rectangles? 110 divided by 8. Okay, 110 divided by 8. You may get uh, around uh, 13 point uh, something in terms of mm. Use round it off, it has 14. 14 mm means 1.4 centimeter is the distance between each division a and a1 next b b1 c c1 d d1 e1 f1 g1 so this is very uh, familiar for us how to fix all these notations in the top face as well as base now what is the condition Cyl cylinder is a rectangle of size 110 and 55 yes this is 110 this is 55 we divided into eight divisions now how can we draw a semicircle a semicircle of 55 mm radius is inscribed in the rectangle inscribed in the rectangle so you can take the in very uh, center division a b c d so totally we are having nine la vertical lines take the fifth line e fifth division e e as center this a as a radius almost you will get same 55 or you can take e as a center e1 as radius what about e and e1 length is 55 that is what given in our question semicircle of 55 mm radius e as center e1 as radius draw a semicircle and before that we can change everything into uh, thick lines only the boundary not intermediate uh, divisions like a prism here the only boundary you have to convert it into thick lines then draw a semicircle with e as center e1 as radius draw a semicircle okay now this is the first point make it as one similarly here it is one dash next one on this b b1 b b1 similarly here it is b1 dash b dash make it as 2 and 2 dash next this is c1 c3 similarly on c1 uh, c dash it is 3 dash okay d1 d make it as 4 and 4 dash e1 e make it as 5 here it is 5 dash now you may follow again 6 dash 7 dash 6 7 8 again 1 so 6 dash uh like four five here you may draw six dash seven dash eight dash but there is no need this is the answer now you can join one dash two dash uh three dash four dash five dash means of a small arc okay you have to draw by means of a an arc smooth surface you have to draw okay if you draw an arc it will be looks like this you have to uh, show by means of uh, this connecting faces just one dash to two dash you see this is the surface okay this is the final answer of this question one dash to two dash then two dash to three dash three dash to four dash four dash to five dash so this is the development of uh, cylinder given cylinder this is projection of cylinder because our question is draw the projections of cylinder okay so if you wish to check the vertical chimney problem or hexagonal prism insect problem you can check the description box for a link or you can check the playlist for that development of surface playlist for that particular problems i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any queries or any doubts you can 
put it in the comment box.